come with acts of gratitude and appreciation for our nation, Nigeria. We come with acts of gratitude for every listener. Thank you, Blessed Savior, for January, for February, for March, for April, for May, for June, for July, for August, for September, and now the tenth month of the year, the month of double grace, the month of freedom, the month of liberty. Father, this morning we come with gratitude and we look up to you that this morning let the heavens be opened over us over this month in the name of Jesus. Let showers of blessings pour upon us in the name of Jesus. As we decree and as we declare, as we pray, as we bless, let showers of blessings be our portion now and always in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, we bring you words of gladness, appreciation, thanksgiving to our great God, who has been good, who is always good, who will remain forever, ever good. And in this program this morning, the first day of the month program, early morning showers of blessing for October 2021, the theme is very simple, a cry for freedom. A cry for freedom. A cry for freedom. There is something you are crying that you'll be free from. There is something that you are crying that the Lord will just arise and do for you. So every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every home, every organization, every institution, even our nation, Nigeria, and all nations across the world have that need, a cry for freedom. Our prayer this morning that the Lord of hosts will hear your cry. Showers of blessings will come. And that your cry for freedom will become huge, huge, huge and great, great testimonies in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So this morning, we are looking at a cry for freedom. And we say again that the Lord will hear your cry. The Lord will answer your cry. Instead of that cry, there shall be showers of blessings of freedom to you and your household and your nation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's situate this in the word of God. Because in the word of God is everything based and everything comes from the word of God. In 2 Samuel in chapter 27, and 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 7 rather, 2 Samuel 22 verse 7, the Bible says, In my distress, in my distress, I call upon the Lord and cried to my God. And he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did, did enter into his ears. I pray today, beloved of God, that your cry, our cries, will enter into the ears of God, and there will be great answers in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, when our cry gets into the ears of God, what will happen? What will God do? Exodus in chapter 3, 7 to 10. Exodus chapter 3, 7 to 10 gives us an idea of what God will do. When our cries for freedom get into his ears, which we trust today, we get into his ears. Let's see what Exodus in chapter 3, 7 to 10 will tell us. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their tax masters, for I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large one, unto a land flowing will milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites, of the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, 
out of Egypt. The Lord is hearing someone's cry this morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will hear your cry. The Lord will send you help. The Lord will send you deliverance. The Lord will change your story in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, again, in Matthew in chapter 14, in verse 30, there was a challenge. There was a big trouble. And someone cried. And the Lord heard their cry. Matthew chapter 14, in verse 30, declares, And when he saw the wind bustorous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he, and he cried, saying, Lord, save me. The Lord will hear your cry. The Lord will save you today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible again tells us in Second Chronicles, in chapter 14, verse 11, and Asa, Asa was a king in the land of Israel. And he cried, and the Lord heard him. He cried, and the Lord heard him. In 2 Kings, in chapter 4, in verse 1, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1, the widow of one of the sons of the prophet also cried to God through prophet Elisha, and the Lord heard, and she had testimonies. When the children of Israel were also in bondage, in Judges, in, in chapter 3, verse 9, Judges 3, 9, they cried unto the Lord, and the Lord heard them. The Lord heard them. Our nation, Nigeria, is filled with many negative things. But it's supposed to be a land of milk and honey. There are forces that are denying people from being, living, from living in abundance having the purpose and the will of God manifesting in their lives. There are so many things that are not working well. They are generational adversaries. They are not working well. But as the Lord live today, over our nation, Nigeria, over your family, over your home, over your institution, there shall be showers of blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord will raise help as the Lord raised up to Moses to hear as he heard the cry of the people of the Lord. The Lord will hear your cry today in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are praying. And we are calling on God to help us this morning. Because the Bible also declares in 2 Chronicles 7.14. 2 Chronicles 7.14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. The Lord will hear our cry. And I will heal, forgive their sins. And I will heal their land. And therefore over our nation Nigeria. Over the land where you walk. Over everything that you are crying for. Concerning our nation Nigeria. We ask O oh Lord. Heal our land Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Heal our nation, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Restore the good times of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Heal our families in the name of Jesus. Heal our communities in the name of Jesus. Heal our educational sector in the name of Jesus. Heal our health sectors in the name of Jesus. Heal our governance system in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we declare... And we decree that the enemies, the Egyptians, that the Nigeria of today is seeing, Nigeria will see them no more in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible now declares to us, beloved of God, in Exodus in chapter 14, in verse 13, Exodus 14, 13, the Bible says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show to you today, for the Egyptians whom you have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Amen. Therefore, in this token, we declare over our nation, Nigeria, we ask, Father, arise, kill all forms of corruption in all levels of governance, 
right from the individual to the family to associations to communities to local government to state government to federal government father everywhere where corruption is reigning father kill them in the name of jesus in our nation nigeria everywhere where tribalism is reigning that will not allow us to go forward father kill them in the name of jesus Father, we decree and we declare that every form of nepotism in this land terminates them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everywhere where terrorism is reigning, Father, let your anger come upon them now and let them be vanquished and be terminated now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where banditry is reigning, when banditry is, is accepted, where there are killings every day across this nation, Nigeria, Father, let your reign of fire and anger come upon those who are involved at every level, whether those who are carrying them out, those who are sponsoring them, those who are supporting them directly or indirectly, let your anger come upon them all now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone involved in kidnapping, Father, incapacitate them, incapacitate their works, incapacitate their designs, incapacitate their efforts in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, everyone involved in every ritual killing ritual capturing father confuse them set confusion in their midst for our, in our nation nigeria now in the name of the lord jesus christ father we ask oh god that in your power heal our economy in the name of jesus heal our body polity in the name of the lord jesus christ lord we ask oh god that in the name of jesus you will arise you will arise you will fight for nigeria you will arise you will fight for nigeria you will arise you will fight for nigeria let no enemy of nigeria that refuses to repent let them not escape your anger in the name of the lord jesus christ again beloved of god the bible says in exodus 14 14 the lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace Oh, Father, we ask, oh God, and we invoke your power. Because what you have done before, you can do again and again. By plagues, fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus. By signs, fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus. By wonders, fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus. By miracles, fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus. By deliverances, fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus by the precious blood of the Lamb. Fight for our nation, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. By your power of resurrection, fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, arise and fight for Nigeria in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you because you will hear our cry. We repent Repent and we ask, O oh God Almighty, have mercy. Arise and fight and hear our cry for freedom in this nation. And answer us, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. Now we go to personal showers of blessing. That is showers of blessing for our nation, Nigeria. Now for personal showers of blessing, we declare and we decree over you that in the name of Jesus, you will not be an ex-champion in any area of your life anymore in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be an ex-champion. The Lord will make you a champion in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. The strength, the wisdom, the power to become a champion and never to become an ex-champion. Receive now for all areas of life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every weakness is in your life. All weaknesses in your life that will not allow the glory of God to come. We command them to be terminated now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the glory of God into your life. Receive the power to retain the glory of God in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree over everyone listening, let their lives be your workshop to show forth your wonders, to show forth your signs, to show forth your power in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Never wo stop working wonders in the lives of every listener. Never stop working wonders in their families in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare that your home, your family will become from today storehouse of the miracles of God, storehouse of the blessings of God, storehouse of the abundance of the Lord in the name 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every adversity of your life, every enemy of your life, we cast them out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree that abundant provision, like that widow of one of the sons of the prophet, the abundant provision shall be your portion going forward in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we decree over you that in this October, you will serve the Lord better in the name of Jesus. You will know the Lord better in the name of Jesus. You will follow the Lord better in the name of Jesus. You will stay with the Lord better in the name of Jesus. You will abide in the Lord better in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare over you. In your spirit, be fruitful. In your soul, be fruitful. In your body, be fruitful. In your marriage, be fruitful. In your family, be fruitful. In the works of your hand, be fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you again, beloved of God, in this month of October and going forward. No more backsliding for you in the name of Jesus. No more stagnancy for you in the name of Jesus. No more shame for you. In the name of Jesus, no more limitations for you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree that every pain of disobedience that you may be suffering, as you repent of them now, receive abundant relief, abundant mercy, abundant favor of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power to cooperate with the Lord, receive in the name of Jesus, and the Lord will show himself strong and mighty on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Every form of unfruitfulness will bring to an end in your life and in your family now in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your cry for freedom, the Lord will hear. Your cry for freedom, the Lord has heard. Your cry for freedom, the Lord is answering. And you begin to testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Parventure you are there. You are also crying for freedom. But the first level of freedom is to be free from sin. And there is nothing that can wash away any man's sin but the blood of Jesus. So why don't you come to Jesus in faith today? If you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, which we implore you and we beg you to do. Because cry for freedom, it is God only that hears. And is the one that has the power to deliver. And as you pray now, we ask that the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Lord will forgive you your sins. The Lord Jesus will come into your heart and become your Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God is a new month. And in the new month, you need to be wise. Because if you are crying for freedom, part of the freedom you require is financial freedom. It's freedom in your economy. It's freedom in your business. It's freedom are all around you, in your community, and in our nation. So bring an offering to the Lord. The details will be shown to you. And give unto God. And the Lord will accept you, accept your offering. And the Lord's mercy will come upon you financially in all areas of your life. And we ask, oh God, Lord, as your people decide to bring an offering to you, they are spending force for, to, for you in this new month of double grace, month of freedom, month of liberty. Father, we ask, oh God, that your showers of blessings will come upon their economy. Show them where to go. Lead them where to go. Give them great ideas to profit and to prosper. To the praise and to the glory of your name. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, we are glad that you are with us today. And we wait to hear your testimonies. If you have committed your life to Jesus, we would like to be of assistance to you. Send your, your, your details by WhatsApp on the uh, numbers you see. And we'll reach out to you to guide you so that you can grow as a child of God. And again, we decree and declare over this month of October for you and your household, every second of this October, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, the entire month, the favor of the Lord will overshadow you. The help of the Lord will be your portion and fruitfulness will be your story. Double grace will work for you. Liberty will be your portion. Freedom indeed from the Lord will be your portion. And new stories and new joys will be the portion of your household. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Have a month of double grace filled with liberty and freedom in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you.